I started carving pumpkins professionally in 2011. I work in the movie industry. Uh, I started in special effects with Stan Winston Studios. I got to work with a lot of great artists over there and I'm a fan of old B movies. I love cool looking monsters and I'm pretty familiar with what scary is. I try to capture that in some of the carvings that I do. When I finally considered taking my pumpkin carving to another level, I mean, it's kind of like uh, deciding that you're gonna tell your parents, you know, mom, dad, I'm gonna become a Ringling Brothers clown. I like to keep the pumpkin hydrated. That keeps the skin in kind of a Goldilocks zone. You're able to carve on it for a very long period of time. I had an event carving uh, in Indiana at the Fair Oaks Farms Cowtoberfest and the families were coming there for the day to hang out and picnic and watch me carve and I thought, you know what, this is great, you know, this is wonderful, I'm making people happy and they have a connection. I mean, we've all carved a pumpkin, so we have this common bond, which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. And for me, that answered something deep inside. I think that with any sculpture that I do, you've got this like, window where you don't even know like what you're sculpting, but you've, you've got an idea and you just have to trust that by the time that you're at the end, that whatever that idea is that you have, that it's actually gonna like match up. It's such a good feeling then all of a sudden when you're finally starting to see the idea that you have materialize. So what'd you think? Tell us in the comments. 
Click here to subscribe and live forever. Click here for more stuff from us. And tune in every Sunday to watch more videos that calm the soul. Bye!